Emergency Queue is a system and a platform. We built it to basically take the stress out of situations where families are looking for urgent care for, for themselves or a loved one, um, and it might be after hours, for example. What are their options? Where are they? When are they available? What does it cost? Basically, that's what we do in a nutshell. The purpose of that, though, is to decant and decompress EDs. So if we can do that and do those two things, we're, we're, you know, we're achieving our goal. Uh, the benefit is it gives patients back time and it gives them peace of mind. So in the last 11 months, we've given 25,000 hours of patient time back. The benefit to a hospital is it decompresses their ED because those patients who could have been seen safely in the community now are. So they've reduced at our pilot site total volumes by 12%. So that's one eighth less people going through the ED, taking up beds that are really designed for people with serious problems like bones sticking out of the skin, as opposed to, I think I sprained my ankle at rugby training. What helped us the most getting ahead was, um, I think, two things. One, um, having an amazing team who were all engaged in the vision of doing something that meant more than selling a product actually was connecting with people and improving people's lives. The second thing that I think helped us massively was just the support that we've been able to garner from the generosity of the business community itself. And by that I'm talking about people who are sharing their ideas and their experiences who are further down the startup journey than us. And secondly, organisations like Callahan have been amazing. I mean, that R&D support for us, for small organisations, is it's really like money from heaven. The most difficult aspect of our journey is dealing with problems on a day-to-day -day basis. So none of this stuff is easy. The problem that we set out to tackle, which was congestion in emergency waiting rooms, has existed for years and years and years. A lot of people have thrown a lot of time and a lot of money at it. A lot of governments have done the same. Everybody was telling us that it couldn't be done. So the first challenge was to overcome that and come with a mindset, no, 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 every challenge has a solution. We live by that. The solution is just waiting for us to uncover it. We apply that with everything that we do every day. The problems are new, and they sometimes come up by the hour, but the team is up for it, and so that's what we do. I think New Zealand, in terms of technology, is an amazing place. Um, it's well known, its reputation is global as far as a place to trial new ideas, but it's more than that. It's a place where new ideas are born, and that's where we fit in. So we think the product and service that we've developed, the solution that we've created, can be transported not just across the country to help families in different parts of New Zealand, but to communities around the globe. It's pretty exciting for us. The mantra that we live by as an organisation and, and that we drive through everything that we do is based on an old whakatauki given to me by one of my komatu up north. And that is rapua te mea ngaro. In other words, there's a solution to every problem. You've just got to be tenacious enough to stay with the problem long enough to find it. That's what we do.